Hello guys, welcome back to Ray's Gaming Tech Productions and today I have a special video for you guys. Today I will be showing you guys how to download and play almost any game or app on your Windows 10 PC without using any third party emulators like Knox Player or Bluestacks. Now from what I know of, this method will be running your apps and games straight from your PC, meaning that there are no extreme wait times for opening Android apps and depending on your PC, the app or game will run without any lag or crashes. Now some games like RL Sideswipe and Fortnite are not supported yet, but come on, let's be realistic. You shouldn't be trying to play Fortnite through a Android emulator on a PC. Now, before we get into the tutorial, I want to go over specs. My PC currently holds a i7-870, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a GT-1030, and yes, I will be upgrading the GPU. So if you have anything similar to the GT-1030 or better and a decent CPU, you should be fine seeing how the majority of apps nowadays run on 8-year-old Android phones and tablets. Now before we start, make sure that you have all of these files copied to a folder, but you can get these files from the link in the description. Just download the top version. Now once you have all these files downloaded and you have them in a separate folder in your actual system, you then want to go down until you find Run Windows Batch File. Now once you open this, it should download everything you need through a command prompt because of course there's a lot of things to download and once it does that, it should make you restart your PC. Once you do that, then you need to go ahead and rerun this and then that should actually download everything that you really need. The first download was just to get you ready for emulation and get you ready. It's basically a VM, it's a virtual machine. So you are basically putting Android OS on a virtual machine. Then you need to go down here to your search bar and you need to search Play Store. Now, once you do that, it should instantly open up and boom, there you go. So as you guys can see, it has everything except for our old Sideswipe and Fortnite, of course, like I said. So as you guys can see, Call of Duty Warzone Mobile might work, but it all depends on how it supports this virtual machine. But I did try one app and that's Octopus. This is for setting up key mapping so that you can play games with a controller. And as you guys can see, it opens it up in the normal way it would be opened up in a phone. And yeah, as you guys can see, everything is working fine. I can click through here, featured, home, me. And for instance, if you are opening a app that is known to open in portrait mode, it will automatically do that. So for instance, if you're opening Twitter or Instagram or any type of app that normally opens in portrait mode on a phone it will open up in portrait mode in this virtual machine and it's the same thing for landscape if a app or game is known to always open in landscape it will open in landscape just like for octopus 